Hi, let's talk about dry validation predicates. Um, last time we were working on this contract um, where we defined the required and optional keys and the expectations for the value. This time we are leveraging uh, um, predicates to go further, that means to add a new uh, set of expectations for incoming data. Um, for instance, the email, uh, we say that it's required and it must be a string and it must uh, match this regular expression. Similarly, um, age must be an integer and must be greater than 18 and the referral is an optional key, key that means if it's not there it's fine but if it's present then it must be a string and it must be specifically one of those three strings uh, in this array. So by looking at <coughs> The, the data that we are sending, we expect that to be true and it behaves like usual. But when we pass invalid data, it now complains, it says that it's not successful and it informs us why it's not. With um, messages, for instance, that this doesn't match the format to be sent, this must be greater than 18 and it's 17, and that is not included there. Um, is not included in the list of expected referrals. So how that works? Uh, basically, uh, when data comes in, for each key, it looks first if this part is satisfied, that means if the email is there or not, and then it, only if it is, it try to uh, convert into a string when this is params, and eventually to um, match against this regular expression, which makes the whole process safe because only if it's a string it tries to match to this regular expression, whereas you don't want to do that with an integer, try to match an integer against a regular expression because otherwise it's not uh, safe, will rise probably no method error or type error. So last time we were uh, after set the expectation only on the type, then we had to do manual work to understand if the incoming data was uh, matching our uh, rules, but this time we can just do uh, these, because predicates helps us to express and declare expectations on incoming data. Now, if you um, think that you are repeating over and over the same uh, kind of expectations, that means uh, the Ruby type and the inline predicates, you can um, dry them up using dry types and define your own type to pass down to, um, to the contract. Uh, for instance, we uh, extracted here the email. You remember we uh, said that it must be a string, so we use a um, dry types of string and we add our own constraint on the format so um, this is basically equivalent to what we declared on before with inline predicates must be a string with a constraint on the format um, same goes for the age that now is using integer from the dry types and we set a constraint on the value which must, which must be greater than 18 and the referral on still on the value that must be included in one of them. And also we can go further with the, for, with the referral and set a default. That means if we don't pass any uh, value here in the input, we still have a default referral, but of course it would be overwritten if we pass um, if we receive our own value from, from the outside. And as you can see, those error messages are exactly the ones that we got on before with the exact data. So basically those two syntaxes, um, this one and the one uh, that we have seen one minute ago with inline predicates are equivalent. This is only uh, a way to reuse the same, to build your own types and to reuse across your application. If you want to learn more, uh, have a look at dry types on Dryerby uh, website. Thank you very much.